This episode of Fragbox TV is brought to you by the world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. What is going on, reefing fan? March here, Fragbox TV with New Ray. Why do we call him New Ray? Because there's already a Ray here, and we can't call them both Ray, so we have Ray Ray and New Ray. Why am I grabbing this? Tell the tell the fam. Uh, we're setting it up. Ta-da! We're setting it up. Um, I have stitches in my mouth because I got some teeth pulled, so please bear with us because I can't talk properly. But that's why we have that's why we have New Ray here. You don't need me anymore. Um, can you do your impersonation of me one more time? Alright. Do the impersonation one more time. <laughs> Hello, my reefing fam. Uh, Mark here, and welcome to another episode of Fragbox TV. We're talking about MP40 today. Give me the, the intro bam, music. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> hey, level 2.4, what are you doing? What's up? What are you fragging, fragging. there? Show, yeah, fragging what? Green polyps. Something polyps. Green what? Come green on. Polyps. Green polyps. Green, green polyps. Green polyps. Green, green star polyps. Sure, all right, sidetrack already. That was that was a quick sidetrack. That's not even one minute in. We've already sidetracked. Okay, where are we gonna stick this thing? Right here. Uh, yeah. Actually? Yeah. This I'm thinking we do them along this side. Mm -hmm. On our new hello, Fragoon. What is this, boys and girls? What do we think? I think everyone. What do they say when they walk in? Looks great, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. Why are you putting them there? I don't know where to put them, man. <laughs> Which way you put them? Why there? not? It looks good. It looks good. It looks like a face. Hold on, right now, it looks like the, the star polyps are the eyes, and the empty one is going. Oh, why are you putting them there? No, we're gonna stick them in. Uh, we're gonna stick them in the twenty-five dollars section of that tank T3. Fragoon, yeah. Here, actually, let me give you a live experience. I'm gonna pretend to be a customer. I'm gonna walk in through the store. Hold on, let me let me go outside. Let me. Oh, hold on, Benz. Let me get out of my Benz. Yeah, right. Okay, oh wow, I love my GLK. What is this cool store? Well, how come they don't have a sign? Maybe they can't afford one. Anyways, they're gonna walk in. I'm gonna give you the full experience. Hold on. Full experience, get this out of Okay, I'm going to Frag Box. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how is it going? This place looks familiar. Boom. What's the first thing you see? Uh, disregard the boxes. Uh, besides that, what do we see? We see the Fragoon. Oh yeah. Fragoon. Okay, we don't have a lot of flow. Man, it's so hard to talk. This is the stupidest day to do the video. I can feel my stitches coming apart. Uh, what do we have for flow, Ray? Tell him. Uh, what do we have? I don't know. We have a J bow. How do we feel about J bow? It's okay. It I does the job. Answer. It does the job exactly. That J bow S O W twenty is actually going to put out more power than this pump that you're holding. This six hundred and forty dollar pump. This one puts out this $100, $120 pump, we'll put out more. The thing with this is, they don't really last. Um, this is gonna last a very long time. These, they don't really last. So, they're good for a year, two, three, you're not gonna, you can't compare it to American made, you can't compare Ecotech to anything. Wait, can you? Nero. Nero, yeah. But it's like different. Yeah, you got the motor on the outside, which yeah. is nice. Um, they're very easy to swap. So let's go, let's do a little bit of an unboxing while we're at it. I'm thinking right here, these frag racks are gonna go. I haven't figured out um, how we're gonna mount stuff nicely on the rock yet. I kinda come up with things as I go along. So we got the tank up, now we're picking fish, which are boring right now, they're chromis. My God, my mouth hurts. And I have some ceramic on the way to make some custom rocks um, so they don't look so silly. Yeah, you can crack that thing open. Um, now we're going to give you our honest opinion because none of none of the stuff we do here at the store, none of this is sponsored. You know, Ecotech doesn't give us the pumps. Um, we do pay for them. Uh, how do we feel about that packaging? Damn. It's sweet. It is sweet. You know what? It's part of the experience. I've never opened one of these before. So. Yeah. They are sexy. I Phone thought guard? it came with a free uh, fish card. Mm, oh, that's what I thought it was too. Oh no, it's not. Where is it? No, no. Is that it? It is. Oh, it is, okay, it is. Oh, it is. So, so much we know, foam guard, you get one. <laughs> um, motor is nice, it's gonna go on the outside. It's in your quiet drives. And I'm thinking, see, it's tricky. The way the rock is set up, but we want the flow to come to sweep around. So, I'm thinking we may need like two or three. One here maybe, because we're getting a dead spot. 
maybe one here to kind of blow between that cave and maybe one in that corner there. Maybe we should start with that corner because it would be nice if we didn't have pumps along this side. It is a peninsula style tank. Yeah, you know what? Let's set it up right here. Let's move this thing. Okay. That's gonna fall on the window. I'm all out of it. So when you get teeth pulled, they give you these little white things at the dentist that take away the pain. And uh, they're very effective, but... So we're gonna stick it right there. I forgot the motor. Oh, the thing. we're gonna replace the other Jabao. I'm actually gonna let Ray hook it up because he's never installed one before. I've done many. We used to run these across the whole store and you guys may have heard me say in another video, for commercial setting, um, they weren't really good. And why that is is because they're here on the outside. On people's butts, so this is my butt here, look. Boom, you hit it all the time. Little kids love to grab them and they're very expensive. Mommy, 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 hits the floor. That's one of the downsides. When we drop this thing hard enough, the motor's gone. So we're gonna mount it really, really safe. We're gonna use double-sided tape to secure the wire to the top of the glass. That's something they actually include now with all of them. Um, I think I was just kind of lazy in the past with the way I installed them. Where is it? Somewhere in here. Uh, here it is, these. So you use these to mount the cable um, to the top so that if it does come loose, it doesn't smash hit the floor and then ruin your very expensive pump so we're going to install them properly um, we're going to replace this jabao if anybody wants one yeah i have a jabao up for grabs um, i'm going to leave the neptune there i'm actually going to run two of them because here on i like getting flow down the middle but you can't put them in here because the motor side is not waterproof obviously or maybe not obvious but we're going to hook it up and then we're going to get ray's impression on setup how he feels about um programming the controller there we're going to try hooking it up to mobius so i've actually never hooked up one of these to mobius so that'll be new and then we'll give you guys our opinion and maybe walk through some of the corals and actually you know what i'll do that i'll talk to them about corals while you will time you how long does it take how long does it take someone it's 4 57 okay you have five minutes good luck i'm just kidding do your thing um acros are looking really nice this is going to be cool um, as this fills in because look at it look at it's just cool look at it instead of having racks this is so much nicer and i'm going to fill it up with fish we do have a blonde naso a tamini tang and a yellow eye coal tang now i'm going to choose some pieces that i don't want to sell so here in the bay section thank you to the person who corrected me this is called a a bay or lagoon no i think bay i'm gonna pick maybe three or four to grow out and keep them long term the rest of them are up for grabs if you want a colony come get it if you want a, just a frag we're happy to make just a frag that was sort of the inspiration behind this tank is to have like a display tank but at the same time have it available i i remember going into stores when i was a hobbyist can you not break stuff sorry i'll pay for it <laughs> actually i won't pay for it can, what does your pants say Jeez. <laughs> Kids are making more money than me, yes. So part of the inspiration was when you go into a shop, you see a nice display tank, you know, immediately you want to buy stuff that's in it. It looks good, it's inviting, it's healthy, it's usually the nicest pieces in the store that the store will pick to show off. And then none of it's for sale. So I remember being annoyed with stuff like that. I can feel the tension, the annoyance in customers' voices when they walk in. Um, not being able to purchase stuff out of the display tank. So my goal now is to have at least everything that's here available at all times. So my project today was working through this tank, doing more WYSIWYG, so it used to cap out at 100. We now have 150, and everything that I don't want to sell is going to go in the basement. So it's out of sight, out of mind. So the, the eventual goal is everything you see will be for sale at all times, unless someone else bought it online, like um, somebody today was looking for this Lobo right here, number 85, but it's sold online, it's just waiting to ship. So with the exception of, of stuff like that, the goal is all corals available at all times. Can't have the fish though. I love the fish. It's very hard to get healthy fish. It's impossible to get yellow tangs, except for a couple of the biota captive raised ones. Um, okay, so we will let Ray do his thing. If you want blue frog spawn, I have two. You're not going to see those again and then we will report back with his honest opinion on how he feels about the ecotech mp40 setup let us see that's it we got it hooked up we actually finished it yesterday i would say what 10 minutes to took it up 
yeah. 10 to 12 minutes um, from start to finish. We don't forget to put the spacer on if you're installing one of these. I think a lot of people forget. It's not optional. This piece here, you do need the spacer. It's going to be dependent on the thickness of your glass. Um, we have our wire thing set up, so hopefully that'll keep it in place. You know what? We might as I think it came with two. We might as well use the second one. It came with like four. Yeah, you know what? Redundancy. We'll maybe put one up here and then even run it across and then down because um, this is kind of a high traffic spot for boxes and we don't want to hit it. Now we got it hooked up to Mobius. So what was your experience with this? Was it easy? Yeah, it links right up. You just uh, press a button and then it links up. because you're smart. We have a Rotman student here. If you don't know what Rotman is, it is a very prestigious economics program at the University of Toronto. Is that right? Did I get it right? Yeah. Or, okay. Commerce. E-commerce. Not, not e-commerce, commerce. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, what are we going to do for flow? Looks like it's picking up some of the gravel. So maybe, you know what, maybe we'll move a little bit higher. Higher? we got to play with it. That's the thing with flow. People always ask us, you know, how much flow. Oh, look at our fish. It's looking good. Hello, Beluga. We have our Blonde Niso. One of my favorite tanks of all time. It's looking really good. That's my second sidetrack. But how do you know if you have enough flow? Um, you kind of just have to try. You have to set it up. See how the corals look. See if you're getting dead spots. See if you're getting algae, detritus. How do you de how do you decide if you have enough flow? Uh, the corals look happy, and the sand's not everywhere. How do you know if the corals are happy? They'll show you. They'll tell you. They'll tell you. Yes. And if we're looking at Acropora, the way they speak to you is in terms of, uh, I think polyp extension is probably one of the biggest signs. So you want to see the polyps out on just about all of them. Some of them don't show polyps. Man, it's kind of hard to tell, I guess without experience, because if you have a piece like this, which is an Acropora carduce, you might be like, hey, March, what the heck? You know, everything's fine. I'm not seeing any polyps. Well, this is a piece that doesn't show polyps during the day. You're almost never going to see on Enchinata, carduce, um, certain species of deep water acro, they're just not polypy the way we expect to see on Tenuous, which is this collection right here. Milliporas, um, Tortusas are not really polypy, so it's something you kind of just learn with time, but they will tell you. Color is another indication, growth is another indication. So I think flow is really an underappreciated and like people don't realize how crucial flow is for a saltwater tank. It is really important. We're trying to recreate the ocean and there is a lot, a lot of current. When I was in Indonesia earlier this year, like the amount of current that's coming over these acros is, it's a lot, it's intense and it's nonstop all day. And we want to recreate the uh, best we can those sort of natural um, conditions. So how do we uh, control it? I've actually never hooked up an Ecotech MP40 to you. good about it. And now, bum, bum, bum. that's why we like to show you guys the good and the bad. I told you, we're not sponsored by anyone. It is not linking, not hooking up. Why? I don't know. Let's, let's troubleshoot. You don't want to have to troubleshoot a new product, but maybe it's something simple. Maybe we need to just do a reset. I am not the biggest the schedule fail to load. Yeah, so the quiet drive is off. Oh, ta ta ta. User error. That's, that's our fault. I press feed mode on our Apex. There's no power going to it. Obviously, it's not going to connect. I am way dumber than I look. Cancel. That'll come back on. This will connect. Sorry. Sorry, Ecotech. Sorry, Aperture. The pumps are great. Um, we're going to play with the pump. We like the pump. It's the greatest pump. I'm not Donald Trump. I feel like Donald Trump, though. This is one of the best pumps. This pump's made in America. This pump was not made in China. Like Jabao, the pump wasn't made in Russia. Oh, man. Ecotech. They're great. They're awesome. Gets our thumbs up. Go out and buy one. Actually, wasn't even planning on doing um, this video because of this sale, but they're 25% off right now. I don't know why. It's a crazy sale. By the time you're watching this, you're not going to see that deal again. So um, if you're thinking about getting one, now is the time. 25% off, which is crazy. You're going to save a couple hundred bucks. If you're watching this a year down the line and you're paying full price, I'm sorry. They're still worth it. Um, all their stuff is. If you look at the store, what are we using? You walk in the shop. Let's do it again. Let's do that, that retake, how we did last time. We're gonna go back outside. We're gonna walk in one more time. Hello, Toronto. It's actually kind of nice today for an October day. Look, let's go in. And what are we greeted with? Besides our friendly and beautiful staff, what do we have? Ecotech, what kind of lights are we using? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ecotechs, they're the best. You walk into any store. Oh, sorry, I lied, 14. 
15. If I take you down to the basement, that number will be over 20. Awesome lights, awesome pumps. They just make they make awesome stuff. Um, and I can't say enough good things about them. They're not cheap, but you're gonna get what you pay for. If you want, if you want some of the best, really look at our store small. So we got to be very picky with what we're gonna put on the shelves. Look what takes up the majority. Neptune, Aqua Illumination, Ecotech. Every square inch in the store is very important. We don't stock anything just because, because we're such a, such a small store. So many people walk in here that come and visit and go, oh wow, it's way smaller in person. I think it looks a lot bigger in the videos. They also say, hey March, you are way shorter. You guys think I'm taller. I just hold the camera up here, so I appear to be 6'2". I'm 5'9", guys. It's down down over here. Okay, so I give him a thumbs up. That was your first time hooking it up. What do you, like, super honest, what is your opinion of the pump? Uh, I think they're really easy. Um, you don't even need Mobius, honestly. You could just hook it up straight with the, the quiet drive that we have Off here. the controller. Yeah, well, any um, sort of hiccups or troubles or any room for improvement, if you had to if you had to criticize them in one way, what would you say? Criticize? I mean, I haven't used it long enough. I'd just be scared of like the magnet falling. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. It is an expensive thing to be hanging off the side of the tank, but I think we're going to secure it a little further. And I guess that's it. I think we'll wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more hardware review videos, um, you just hit us up in the comments and let us know what you want to see next. I'm more than happy to grab anything off the shelves. I have a really cool one sort of in my mind that I want to do soon where I'm going to set up every nano skimmer that we sell and that's on the market on the side of this tank and I'm going to run them all. It's going to look super ugly and super dumb but I want to really test them side by side and see which one is the best because we don't need to sell every nano skimmer out there. I just want to sell the best and that's it. We'll see you guys back here on the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one and bye for now.